thank you for your interest in Cyber Patrol's Parental Controls product. The following video will walk you through customizing web filtering settings in Cyber Patrol. To customize the web filtering settings, we'll first need to click on the Start button, go to All Programs, Cyber Patrol, and Headquarters. This is going to bring up the Headquarters toolbar. You'll need to click on the Open HQ button, and then enter your Headquarters password to log in. Once logged into the headquarters, click on the Customize Filtering Settings button, and then click on the Customize button next to Web Filtering. You'll notice the five categories, which are Select Web Categories, the My Blocked Keywords, My Allowed Keywords, My Blocked Sites, and My Allowed Sites. We're going to start with the Select Web Category section. On this screen, you have the option to change the preset filtering strength as well as the ability to change the filtering strength for individual categories for each of your individual Cyber Patrol users. You can select the user you would like to configure by choosing that user from the user profile drop down list along the top. Once you have the user selected that you would like to configure, you can then choose the preset filtering strength. You'll notice at the bottom each of these individual categories has their own ruler that you can move to the left or right to either decrease or increase the level of filtering for that category. You'll also notice that when you change the preset filtering strength that these categories will automatically adjust based on that strength. The one preset filtering strength I would like to touch upon the most is going to be the web yes list. If you choose a web yes list this means that any website is going to be blocked unless you specifically allow it in either the My Allowed Keywords or the My Allowed Sites section. For this demonstration we're going to choose the Child Filtering Strength. Once you have the filtering strength and the category listing set up, you can click on the Save button to save those changes. Cyber Patrol will let you know that they have been saved successfully. Once all of this is configured and saved, you have the ability to copy these settings to any of your other Cyber Patrol users by clicking on the Copy To button at the bottom. The page that comes up asks which of your Cyber Patrol users you would like to copy these settings to. Placing a check in the box and clicking the OK button will copy these filtering settings to those other users. The next section we're going to talk about is the Sites Allowed section. This section allows you to specifically allow, allow websites through the Cyber Patrol filtering. You can add websites to either the current user profile by adding them into the top section or to all user profiles by adding them to the global websites list at the bottom. To add a site you would just click on the add button and add whatever website you would like to block. Same goes with the global. Click on that add button and add the website you would like to block. So in this example, the administrator user is going to be blocked or going to be allowed to always get to yahoo.com and all users are always going to be able to get to cnn.com. Click the save button once you've added all your sites to save those settings. The next section is going to be the sites blocked. This is going to allow you to block any website uh, from your Cyber Patrol users being able to access that site. This works exactly the same as the allowed sites where the top section is going to be only for the current user profile selected and the bottom section for all user profiles. Once you've added your blocked sites just click on the save button to save those sites. By default the sites blocked in the sites allowed sections only allow you to enter the www.cyberpatrol.com or just the main domain of a page. If you would like to do page level blocking, that is allow yahoo.com but block just the shopping section, you would need to use the keywords allowed and keywords block section for those to do the page level blocking. If you open up the keywords blocked section and click on the add button, you could add yahoo.com slash shopping to the block list and save those changes. This means that the administrator user is going to be able to access all of yahoo.com except for the one shopping section. And you can do this for any website or if you have you know, long URLs for websites that you would like to block, you can add them to the blocked keyword section and that will allow you to block those sites. The keywords allowed section works just like the sites allowed section where you can add a keyword to either the current user profile or the global list. Once you have all of your keywords and block sites set up, 
Uh, you have the option to copy any of these settings over to the default or over to any of your user profiles like the default or the test profile set up here just like we did with the categories by selecting that and clicking OK. If you have things in the global URL list there's really no need to copy to other sites because you've already added them to all of your Cyber Patrol users. You also have the ability on any of these five options to set everything back to default categories by clicking on the default settings button. Cyber Patrol will prompt you and ask if you're sure you would like to revert back to the default settings for these options. Just click on the yes button and then save your changes. At this point you have successfully configured the monitoring in Cyber Patrol. Thank you for your interest in Cyber Patrol's Parental Controls products.